Well, welcome back. Massive amount of faffery this morning. I wasn't so sure about the security of the bike last night, so I took everything off panniers the lot. But that means I had to do like 17 runs up to my hotel room, which was miles away from the underground car park. So I'm absolutely chin strapped this morning. <laughs> right, down towards Glen Griff today. 317 kilometers. It's basically the route we're going. Lovely hotel at the Parkside Hotel. A bit more expensive, it was about 150 bucks a night, but oh, it was worth it. Oh, glad I took a layer off. It's 18 degrees already. It rained through the night, but I think we should be all right for today. A bit gray up until lunchtime, and uh, hopefully we should see some of that sunshine this afternoon. All fueled up yesterday. Again, if, you, uh, if you're just catching uh, this episode, I'll stick a playlist in the top corner there to previous episodes, so you can sort of uh, keep up on the journey. Came from Germany all the way over to Ireland. That is the tour for this year. Had a great run uh, yesterday down from Dublin through the Whitcomb uh, forests. What an amazing, uh, what an amazing run that was. Again, if you missed it, uh, check the playlist in the top. You can, uh, you can check that out. So today we're sort of heading southwest-ish, more west than south, but not so much down along the coast, but um, parts of it. Going down to uh, Glenagriff, where I'm going to be uh, stopping over. And then tomorrow we've got a, a proper treat of a day, where we sort of start to head up north, the northwest coast which is all the sort of mountainous runs and that, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that, so uh, stay tuned for the next episode. Now the next hotel we're stopping at, you'll see when I arrive uh, today. It's uh, again, it's, uh, it's a bit of a more of expensive hotel, it's got a wellness uh, spa. Now normally when I tour, especially down Alps and whatnot, most of the times I've toured, I've sort of always budgeted myself to sort of 50 to 60 bucks a night, which is easily done in uh, those parts of the world or Europe, but not so much. Um, in Ireland, especially Scotland last year, I was having to average sort of a hundred bucks a night. Um, but I thought, oh, sod it, I really don't care. Although it seems a shame to spend that amount of money when you sort of, you get in there in the late afternoon, you're having lunch, getting a shower, a couple of beers, and then off to bed. And then you get up in the morning, have breakfast, and then piss off down the road. But I don't know, I don't want to stay in a shit hole either. Um, I don't know, it's still holiday isn't it? Although I'm riding all day long, you still got to enjoy the evenings, have some chill out time. Perhaps get a massage this evening, I don't know, straight in the hot tub with a, uh, with a cocktail. Now yesterday, or last night's and tonight's hotel are the most expensive two I've got. Otherwise we're about down to a sort of a hundred bucks in other places, but still, still nice enough places. I mean you can get cheaper, cheaper accommodation for sure. A bit more harder to find in sort of higher season because that's the... Well, that's the hype, isn't it? Everybody uh, grabs hold of the cheaper accommodation and uh, all the expensive stuff uh, is left available. So, I mean, you could spend 500 bucks a night and stay in some castle if you wanted to, but I thought that was a bit keen. Left to Cork, right to Marlow. Right it is. Right, right. Unfortunately, we're following uh, Liam Connolly's road freight. But Liam Connolly's road freight is putting the hammer down. <laughs> uh, don't want one of them in the face. Oh, shee. Last one, I want some plastic bag melted to the front of the engine. I'm definitely making good progress on this sort of faster, faster roads. This isn't the coastal road. 
you can go slightly more south than where I am now. Um, but it would have made the day uh, way too long, I think, and I'd have, uh, I'd have been hanging. I think I would have taken the day up towards 400 kilometers. And um, yeah, I think that's, that's too much sometimes for, for sort of B roads. I mean, this sort of stuff's okay, but it can be boring in places, but sort of 250 to 300 kilometers is, uh, is okay. You get in the hotel at a sensible hour, but the real good shit starts tomorrow morning when we're up in the mountains. Still haven't found anywhere for a coffee though. You could do with a break. What have been riding now? Two, two and a half, two and a half hours nearly. It's time for a cappuccino. Put this in the route. No. Not sure why it's telling me to turn around, but Down here? Oh Jesus. Left side of the road, Sean. <laughs> Although I must admit I've uh, not had an issue at all with uh, riding on the left. It's all coming back to me. It's all coming back, it's all coming back to me now. Bag of neutrals. I remember when the nights were so cold Celine Dion in the Mütze now This is more like it me like this and when you touched me like that Ooh. it's got to be summer here although I don't want to be abandoning the bike somewhere in the middle of town with all this gear on it Ooh. bike life it's never easy could you just do something nice on a corner somewhere with the tables and chairs outside and I'll just abandon the bike right at the front of the shop. Failing that, I'll just have to find a Starbucks or something. Oh, I've been riding over three hours now, I need a break. There's something there, look. What is that there? Shit. have to pull over in a minute and Google a, Google a pub. Keep your 
nice field for a boozer. Because we're piling in. Didn't really want to get wet today, thanks. It's absolutely banging it down. Too inviting. Uh, I think we've crapped out here and all. Well, I've been going for four hours now nearly, and I haven't found anywhere to get a coffee. And I've even bothered stopping. Mental. Some nice houses though, about. Blimey. Did find a couple pubs and whatnot, but they were shut. Disastrous. We are just in the middle of nowhere. Oh, my ass is hurting now, though. Uh, after all that, they weren't open either. Absolutely winning at life. I mean, absolutely no luck today with the refreshments. I've only got 68 kilos to the hotel. Do I just grizz it out and have a have a nice afternoon in the hotel? Probably, probably should. What time is it now? It's one o'clock. I'll be there at two. Still haven't found anywhere as yet, but I'm going to sack that off because I've now only got 21 k's to the hotel. So I'm just going to get there sharpish and enjoy the uh, the wellness spa. Been a bit of a long hog, 315, 316 kilometers in a wanna, about five and a half hours ride, just for that little stop there at the uh, 
the pub that was shut. So I'm ready to get off now, but a couple more k's to go. I think I'll get some fuel as well before I uh, get to the hotel, and that is then done and all. Again, lovely old town. I love these houses here. Some absolute belters about. Probably cost a fortune. Up to 3% further. More power and acceleration. Probably all bollocks. It's a real bastard to close that filler cap. See if they've got a crunchy. Here we go, look. I'll get two. Thank you very much. Cheers out. Hello. Right. Bad enough now. I must say that this bike is an absolute delight to ride. One thing I haven't seen in Ireland as yet is a, a speed camera. Sat now flashed up all the time for mobile, mobile, mobile speed cameras, but I've not seen any fixed ones. How bizarre. Uh, yeah, we're heading towards mountains. Tomorrow is going to be a mint. Just hope for some decent weather. Even that cafe is not even open. Is nothing open? Is it all seasonal stuff? I hope not. This is, uh, we're at the end of May now, so obviously before summer season, before school holidays and whatnot, but... No, I only noticed it today that everything was shut. It's, what does it say, Tuesday today? Is it Tuesday? I think yesterday was a bank holiday, but... Not to worry, my hotel's open. They called me earlier today just to make sure I was uh, still coming and if I wanted evening meal and whatnot. Is that a house or a hotel in the corner? I think that's a house. Oh my God. With like an outhouse. Mega. A bit windy out there.
That was the school. <laughs> Definitely got the view for it. This is me for the night. Park it in here. Bosh, job done. Huh. Oh, the petrol station right next door. 